Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you're new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we're going to be looking into two charity shop bags. These are broken and unsold pieces of jewellery from my local shops. We're going to be looking for things that I can break apart and upcycle or restore and resell in my eBay, Etsy and retail stores. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and of course remember to hit that bell and hit the like button if you like what you see. Let's dive into the first bag. So it looks like we've got some gorgeous beads in this bag. Um, I'm intrigued to see what's going on with this bag. I wonder if it's coming here. This is one of those handbag holders that you put on the edge of the table and you hang your handbag off it. Some huge chunky beads. These look like a sort of like a papier mache almost that's been covered in resin. They're a bit unusual. We've got some really lovely glass beads in black and red or a sort of orangey colour and clear. They look a bit like sweeties, don't they? This has all been individually wire wrapped. Oh, it's from East. Nice high street brand. I've never seen shell dyed orange before, I don't think. Not on a necklace like this anyway. It's got some lovely glass beads in between. That's quite fun. I might cut that up though, make some summer earrings out of it. Uh, these are coconut, I think. They're certainly shell. And then that's a bit of, is it shell? Yes, a bit of mother of pearl shell that's been dyed. costume thing I'll probably take that apart and use the components and when I say thing I mean necklace of course <laughs> oh this is fun big statement necklace metal pieces this cord has gone a bit yucky but that could be restrung onto something new oh this looks like treasure Lovely agate beads, they're a sort of grey, greeny colour. Those are lovely, that will make something nice and new, or lots of nice and new things. Uh, these are just plastic, they'll probably be taken apart and put into the children's workshops, where we make upcycled bracelets. This has a look of, I was going to say it looks like another East one, and it is. That's quite nice, that'll probably go into pre-loved rather than be cut up. And some pretty daisies. This is a cheapy one. I've seen this one before. I'll probably take that apart and make some summery earrings. And just a bit of cord. So that is bag one. Let's move on to bag two. Okay. Lots more beads in this one. I'm quite excited because I can see that these are the beads I make my teeny tiny earrings from. And that will just give me a few more because I've pretty much I think I have actually run out of these teal coloured ones so that's an exciting find for me and this is a big statement necklace with some glass beads on the top and these are really cool ceramic beads there's a huge array of seed beads there I will never be short of white seed beads again and similarly these turquoisey ones this is interesting looking. Very similar look to the other one, possibly came in from the same person. I like these end caps though in the brass and I think it's had its clasp replaced there at some point. Quite pretty. This is just a cheapy high street piece, Primark or somewhere like that. And another high street one, this is still on its card, although it doesn't say where it's from. Some nice pinky beads in there. Be quite cute in the summer, wouldn't it? Wow, this one has a vintage look about it, but it's hard to tell the age of these things. Often the vintage ones, the metal has gone completely um, rusty or green with verdigris. Hard to see on the camera, but it's quite long and it's got these beautiful almost opalescent glass beads on it. 
what should we do with that one? I mean, that's got the tiny glass beads that I use my, that I make my teeny tiny earrings from. We shall have to see its fate. That's another East one. I can't remember if these two bags came from the same, same shop. They may well have done. These look like stone, but they are actually plastic. I think what I'll probably do is make stretchy bracelets out of those, which I just have in a basket in a couple of my shops, two pounds or four pounds, depending on the materials and the size. Some bits of shell there and some freshwater pearls. That's some nice materials there as well. So this is look like looking more like an upcycling lot rather than a resale lot. But that is fine because I'm always looking for new materials. That's a Wallace one, another High Street one. I'll probably take that off and use the chain for something else. We've got a clamper that's lost its plating. That's interesting, isn't it? What does that say? Elements. I think that's probably a High Street one as well. Shout in the comments if you know which shop that is. And this one, I think that is an old fat face um, dangle, but let me know if I've got that wrong. This has got some pretty charms and things on it. I'll probably cut that one up because the cord has seen better days. And I remember this one. She took this one out of the cabinet because it hadn't sold. And I think they had £20 on it, which was a bit strange because it actually only says 25 on its new tag. That's from East as well. Um, I wonder if she saw that it said gold and thought it was gold plated or something. I don't know. It's very pretty, though. This is another one with tag on charming charlie ten dollars that one will go into pre-loved oh look at these beads love those they are um oh my mind's gone completely blank <laughs> they're, they're pottery um ceramic that's what i'm looking for ceramic aren't they pretty might take that apart and make some earrings from the smaller beads and then I could make focals out of the bigger ones for necklaces. Another bit of costume. I might take that one apart. Where's that from? No, it doesn't say. Just a cheapy one. So there we go, quick one today, two lovely bags of materials for me to make new things from. Keep an eye on my shorts and I'll be sharing some of the things that I've made over the coming weeks. I hope that you are having a wonderful Christmas and wish you all the best for 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in my videos this year. It's meant the world to me that so many of you have liked and commented and subscribed. Loads more to come next year, so do keep watching. Sending you all the best. Choose another video to watch next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.